Well, folks, unexpectedly, I've brought a load of books and records over to this big bookstore and uh, I'm going to sell those off, make some room in the attic and down in the uh, GIMP basement that we have. I buy old records, I'm Max Stevens, and I'm going to look at 45 records while I'm here. Got to wait about an hour and a half, so might as well get some practice in. So let's go. Not bad at all. One of Elvis's early extended plays without the cover. How much are they? Oh, 50 cents. That's not bad. Shake, rattle, and roll on a 45, Joe Turner. Ruth Brown. You know, it's hard to pass those up when they're like that. They're good for filling out boxes of stuff that I need to get sold. Makes them more attractive to potential sucker uh, buyers. Carl Smith, nah. Carl Smith was a great country singer. Not hillbilly, but good country. One of my dad's favorites. There are some records, some records you'll see over and over everywhere you go. This was a huge monster hit. Lowell Folsom, Lonesome Christmas. I just see this thing everywhere I go. Decent uh, R&B, so good for them. You feel Christmassy yet you're depressed? It's good blues to listen to for that. Okay, Western Band or Western Swing Band leader Hank Thompson doing a little bit of rockabilly. Rocking in the Congo. It's common, but I always pick them up. Like I say, they fill out boxes. They look good. And occasionally you might actually play and enjoy a record. How about that? Uh, I've got so many copies of that. Chantels. Wow, two copies. Too bad I don't need it. This looks good. Rebel Records. Wow. It's awful folk. I fell for that one 25, 30 years ago. Thought I had something until I played it. Then, I, as Borat would say, not so much. Okay, both hands again. The other record you see everywhere you go, recorded at Sun Records, Raunchy by Bill Justice. I don't know how many things, units that thing sold, but uh, my goodness, that was a bunch. Boring white missionary position gospel there on Bible Tone. There's some good things on Bible Tone, but that's not one of them. Well, this is the reason I like to come to places. And their 78s. I just found a very great Nashville uh, blues guitar thing. I walk the line by Johnny Cash. It's beat up, but why not? And I've got a little stack of things there. I'm going to go through the 78s first. Yeah. Well, the pile keeps growing. Good stuff. I've got a lot of 78s to go through. I switched over after spying that JB Blues 78 setting there waiting on me right on the front of the stack too which is very unusual tells me somebody hadn't been doing their work here so I'm going to do it for them and pick out records now they're not in the best shape but on old systems like mine they play great well cool I got home with my haul it only cost me ten dollars and tax so, got a little teen rocker thingy there. Not bad. Oklahoma Vocal Group. Second label it appeared on. Pretty, pretty primitive stuff. And then another big hit, but it's in nice shape. That just goes in record show boxes. Same thing here, Mess Around by Ray Charles. Same thing here, Maybelline by Chuck Berry. You know, but they're, they're in decent shape. This, I don't know, I gotta play that. 
nice shape copy of one of Elvis's and it's in a company sleeve of Mercury and I got this just because it's from there there it's on Huncal Avenue in Buenos Aires that's where this was uh, sold it's a Frank Sinatra with Nancy but I like the song shake rattle and roll Joe Turner another big hit same thing there Ruth Brown Carl Smith doing his bopper, Go Boy Go. Another decent shaped uh, Elvis uh, without the cover. We mentioned Rockin' in the Congo, Hank Thompson. Here I've got Lee Morris on Silver Tone. Tell Me Mama and Off the Wall by uh, uh, Little Walter on Checker. That Ain't the Way to Do It, B.B. King. And three o'clock blues. That was a big hit, actually. But I'll pick those things up. Then, here there. I walk the line, Johnny Cash. And this is not in great shape. Uh, Zeb Turner, which may have been recorded by Sam Phillips in 1950. We've got uh, J.O.B. Records. How many? Much more by J.B. Lenore. Two more Sun things. We've got All Mom's Children, Bop and the Blues, Carl Perkins, Matchbox. Then we've got, and I've got to clean this one up. Hopefully it will. Roll over Beethoven. Stuff like that'll sell, but here's the good one right here. Yeah. JB Records, Eddie Guitar Slim Jones. Not in too terrible shape. It'll clean up well. Uh, and uh, these were 50 cents each. So I might as well just buy that stuff when it appears. Like and subscribe, please. I know you like it. Now subscribe. I talked with the guy the other day. I'm talking to you, David. Be sure and subscribe. Thank you much, and uh, I'm going to see about converting these to ready cash, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.